hola. <laughs> I like it when I say hola. Hold on. Thank you very much to everyone who has attended the um, Wealth Workshop. Thank you very much. It was sold out. I don't know. Like, I launched it and in just a couple of minutes, everything was filled out. You guys know. Uh, <laughs> Scorpios be thirsty for their wealth. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to pre-record it because it was at uh, Google Meet. Um, I would be doing a second one. So when I announce it, make sure you you can you can reserve. Okay, you will reserve a spot so that way you don't miss out. Anyway, let's start. Um, today is the last day, the time that you're watching this. Uh, the last day for the fifty per, up to fifty percent off. I have a special collection down there, and this is free. Okay, um, this is the double piao. I'll talk more about it as a gold vermeil. But let me get first your reading here. Let's see what's going on for the Scorpios. This is the bi-weekly. Um, this is the um, the last two weeks of, um, of July. Mars already has entered your seventh house. In, in seventh house for Mars is a maraca. We call it the MKS. Okay, so it's not a good position for Mars because Mars seventh house is partnership, and Mars is never about partnership. So that's why it feels like it's dying. You have to work with the person. You have to put effort. So Jupiter is there though. This kind of yoga, Mars and Jupiter together, it does bring auspicious result with finances, but not with um, relationship. So I'll screw that partnership. Give me the coins. I hear you, especially all those. <gasps> The higher event. Okay, I'm out of here. I, I um, oh, there you go. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, like I'm done. I'm so done. <laughs> I tell them not about. See, here's the thing with the Scorpio. When you tell them don't, they do. And when you tell them do, they don't. So, what part of communication? <laughs> How can I explain? No, no. Say, I want a relationship right now. Yeah, it's not auspicious. Okay. <laughs> This is Taurus. This is your seventh house. This is the Hierophant. And, and you know, <laughs> I can't. Last time I did your reading, I said, we're going to do a coin reading. Lovers was the first card. Like, you guys always, what do you call this? Like a backhanded swing? Like, I don't even know. Okay. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am unapologetic talking about remedies and crystals and gemstones that I create, handcrafted. So if new, you're new, um, you're in for a treat. If you don't like that, you are free to go. This is it, guys. Like you cross, we cross path, but you don't like it, go. All right. And then for people who like how I teach and how I manifest, and I, of course, I do sidereal astrology. Well, we're in for a treat because we're not doing extended today. <laughs> I got a lot to do. All right. So let's begin here. Now, the seventh house, you have Jupiter already there. It has crossed, there was this certain degree where K2 and Jupiter is kind, J Jupiter couldn't give that. Um, that energy of relationship, that abundance, that prosperity. It's aspecting your 11th house. Money will start to be good um, starting after the 15th of um, June. So that's good. Um, now we're moving towards more um, meeting people, 11th house networking circles, friends. You will see there was probably some disconnect. You probably tried to help a friend, but it was disconnected. It's going to resume. Influx of money starts again. Relationship will start to roll, okay? So let's see. Yeah, I, let's talk about money. No, relationship again. You got Empress card right here. This is Venus right here. <laughs> if you get married, you tell me, okay? If you are running a seventh house Lord Dasha, you're running a Venus Dasha right now, okay? Um, which is the ruler of your seventh house, you will get married. Jupiter is there as well. You're running a Jupiter Dasha. And Jupiter is in the seventh. You will meet your spouse. You will get married again. And this is to a T. Antar Dasha, same thing. Um, Prayantar Dasha is a different story. So think of it this way. The ruler of your fifth house is Jupiter. Because Pisces, right? Five, uh, fifth house for you is dating romance. It's in the seventh. Hear me out. So since it's in the seventh, then now is an auspicious time for you to have a relationship. Yes. Now, Mars is there, non-cooperative. And Mars normally is around 40 to 50 days uh, when it transit. But sometimes when it goes retrograde, oh, it can stay there for 90 days. Mars is the most unpredictable when it comes to transit. But I think it's not going to go retrograde. Though. So 
Then, okay, so Jupiter, look at When Sal goes like that, <laughs> you better get your tea. You better get your vino. I don't care if it's a rosé, a champagne, a mimosa, because the Scorpio is going to be in it for a treat. Uh, um, I love you guys so much. So don't worry about extended. I'll put all the information here. You got me. Okay. And plus, you guys are always supportive in the comments. So thank you very much. You know, no extended. Let's put it all out in the table. We're going to enjoy, you know. Scorpius and I are going to enjoy today. So, um, Rahu, okay, in the fifth house for you in Pisces, it's gonna be there until next year. Jupiter, same in the seventh house until next year. Did you know? I hate that I say that at, uh, always, that did you know? Because that's, you know, that's how I talk about my crystals. <laughs> did you know that Rahu in the fifth house, wherever Rahu is, it will act like the lord of that house? Because it's not really a graha, it's a shadow planet. So, since the lord of the fifth house is Jupiter, Jupiter in the fifth house, okay, is auspicious because it is a kara, karaka, meaning significator of the fifth house. It gives happiness and joy. So if you have a good placement of Jupiter, Scorpio, you're going to get married. If you have a good placement of Jupiter, you're going to open a business. If you have a good placement of um, Venus as well, you're going to become, uh, you're going to have a relationship, a marriage and partnership. Now you're going to miss out. I'm on the edge now. Tell me, how do I know if it's good? I do say dual Vedic astrology for us, okay? Jupiter in the first house, that's directional strength. Amazing, okay? If you have Jupiter in the fifth house, you have Jupiter in Pisces. Amazing. Jupiter in the ninth, winner. Um, what we don't want is Jupiter in Capricorn, okay? We don't want Jupiter. That's its debilitation sign. What we want, extra sauce right here, Jupiter in Pushya Nakshatra in Cancer. Do you have Jupiter in Cancer? You'll be winning, okay? Because that's an exaltation sign. It will give you the best result. Now, you're going to ask, okay, what about Venus, Sal? I crossed that. It's not my Jupiter. It's not so good. Uh, we don't want Jupiter in the third house also. Okay, um, Venus, ruler of the seventh. If you have Venus in the seventh house, a little bit tricky because Venus in the seventh um, uh, can get uh, how to call this more pleasure seeking. If you have Venus in the seventh, your nail chart, you're actually probably not going to have any relationship this lifetime because you have fulfilled it in a past life. You will experience, but not long term. Venus is telling you, so it's like you're good. You don't need that kind of karma. You have. Are you tired of trying to find which crystal is good for wealth? Let me help you understand what are the seven crystals that's going to be good for you. Obsidian, garnet, citrine, yellow sapphire, lapis lazuli, ruby, and jade. The problem is all these crystals are very expensive. What I did is I put all these crystals in a bracelet so now you can use it. All these crystals are going to be good for you. To find out more, visit our website, eatreadlove.me. You can enjoy yourself this time. Yeah. Mm. Now, Venus in Taurus, of course, in seventh house, that's good. Directional strength, amazing. Venus is the Karaka of seventh house also. So Saturn and Venus are good in the seventh. Depends, though. Now, Venus, of course, ruler of your 12th house, which is, um, how to call this, Libra, okay? Um, that gets tricky because that means if you have Venus in Libra, even though it's in its own home, it's a long-distance relationship. So, um, so those are the good points of, uh, of, uh, of Venus. Now, where is uh, Venus exalted? Venus in Pisces. Do you have Venus in Pisces, which means in your fifth house? Because that's the exaltation sign of Venus. If you have Venus in the fifth, you're going to get married. Okay? <laughs> so I just tell you, like, what kind of... Because this is... This is Taurus, and this is Libra. This is Venus. And this is Jupiter also in Taurus. Okay, so you were surprised. I was like, dang. So if you attended the workshop, you probably, uh, yes, the wealth workshop. Okay. I share a lot of secrets. Okay. It's the occult, the mystic knowledge. Let's continue. How's your wine? <laughs> I'm about to get a second bottle. Two of Pentacles. Okay, then I, oh, of course, it's not a Scorpio reading, not unless they're worried and stressed. Nine of Swords with the Two of Pentacles, worried and stressed. Nine of Pentacles, it's because they haven't made a decision, Sal. I'm going crazy. Calm down. Okay, oh, wait, no, that's them. Oh, boy, you need to make a decision, Scorpio. It's you who's not. Nine of Swords is on their side. You're actually, you're in the receiving end for this. It's almost as if, like, you raise your vibration as an empress, you're doing good. You're doing amazing. 
Okay? Mars aspect you, so you're empowered, meaning because that's your Lagna Lord in the seventh house, from seventh to your first house. That's amazing. Um, this is showing that you need, okay, either to talk to your person because they're stressed, they don't know what to do, um, they don't know if they can reach out to your top. A little bit segue over here, of course. Now, since, uh, you know, if you guys do remember, today is the last day to get your double P out. This is real gold. This is uh, real gold. Sorry, this is a gold vermeil. This is, but it, we have another one that is real gold. But this is the gold vermeil that is giving out for free. If you shop any of my, um, you know, amazing gems, I'll brace it down there. But my go to, as always, is the Mega Wealth, which is here. This is the double P out, 18 karat real gold. Okay. And then at the back, it's all party, darling. Ruby, okay, for your 10th house because that's success. That's the ruler, sun, okay? Um, so if you want famous and success, there's Ruby. You want stability in relationship, Lapis Azuli. You want your wisdom, which is Jupiter right now in your in your 7th house, you have Citrine. You have Garnet, which is for Rahu, that's for business and also for your dating, that's right there also. This is available also on the sale. Um, it has a different um, free kit, it's for wealth. Okay, now you're going to ask me, Sal, I have a different case. I have a very difficult connection. Okay. Go check out the Mystic one, the Mystic custom bracelet. It's down there as well. You tell me the intu the intuition, the situation, the intention, what you're manifesting. I got you, boo. I make a specific gemstone bracelet for you, okay? It's only in the Scorpio that I can speak freely without being judged mm -hmm. and without being skipped. I hope so. <laughs> but if we do have a cross watcher, they probably skipped already. Because <laughs> they want to know if the Scorpius get a message them. Okay, let's continue this. Okay, free shipping in the U.S. we have available. And we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. Okay, we ship through the HL. Hoy kayo mo nasa Pilipinas, Quezon City, Dagupan, Bulacan, Nabotas, Marikina. Lahat na kayong nandyan, di pa bumimili. Cagayan de Oro. Nakikita ko kayo. Cebu, ang dami dyan. Mm -mm. Paranaque, Muntinlupa. Lahat, nakikita ko kayo. Mm. Pero... Ang tanong, sino ang bumibili? Puro nagtatanong, Shopee, Shopee. Nagdi-DHL ako. Mm. Bumili ka na. Nine of Cups. Your wishes is being fulfilled. Mm. Now, I was just uh, telling the uh, the Filipino community to find what really means, you know, what love for them is. You know, like, start their spiritual practices. No, I wasn't telling them that. I was, <laughs> they're going to tell me. It's like, that wasn't what he's saying. <laughs> I'm messing with them. Nine of Cups with a judgment right here. It's time, Scorpio. It's time for you. You've been having way too much fun being single. Nine of Cups. Enter relationship. Okay. <laughs> a lot of people dying to be in a relationship. And once they're in the relationship, they're dying in the relationship. So first, you're dying to be with a person. Now, you're dead in the inside. Majority of my clients, of course, are couples. And the only thing I, I know about their relationship is like, they're dead in the inside. I'm kidding. No. Not kidding. <laughs> Nine of Cups with a judgment right here. Reconciliation. I forgot to mention. Red Thread Reconciliation Bracelet. Rose Quartz. I, I can't show it to you guys there. But Rose Quartz is the gemstone, the very first gemstone when I was going through my healing in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, after, okay, can I say it here? This is the first time I'm going to say it. Ever, okay. Someone was engaged. They didn't work out. Packed my bag. Opened my bakery, did the whole eat, pray, love, meaning like, you know, how Julia Roberts did it. Um, just went, you know, so now I'm in the mountain, I'm in the vortex, healing myself. Rose Quartz was the first uh, gemstone. Now, after that failed-ish connection, enter six weeks, the soulmate or the twin flame, like we would call it. <laughs> That was fast, yeah. So this rose quartz is a red thread. I'll tag it also here. I also have a uh, relationship magnet down there. That I don't advise wearing, not unless you're ready for a serious relationship. It's down there. Don't wear it. And oh, let alone the Scorpio. They're going to wear it for sure. Don't wear it, not unless you're ready. Okay, like you have gone through your transformation and changes because it's very strong. It's made with Super 7. Okay? Knight of Pentacles, uh, Three of Cups, someone is going to talk to you very direct king of swords right here could be an aquarian you're more in the nine of cups with a judgment come to me straight or don't come at me at all i don't want to see or talk to no one not unless they want to have a serious relationship with me i like how driven you are which means you're jaded before <laughs> your person nine of swords three of cups 
Here's the thing. Here's the problem with your person. When they like you, they don't express it all. And for a Scorpio, that's now. Either you die for me because I'm going to die for you or we're done. Okay? So your person is doing the tit for tat with the six of pentacles. Let's see, Scorpio. Ooh. Unavailable six of swords. And then, ooh, ooh, child. Okay. That yellow sapphire. Okay. If you go to my store right now, there's a free yellow sapphire. But I feel like you have to... You have to accumulate certain so-and-so amount, and then you get a free yellow sapphire. Definitely worth it, because Jupiter is in the seventh. Wheel of Fortune with the Eight of Wands, Scorpio. Someone is coming around to you, okay? And this is the time, fated, basically, Wheel of Fortune. Long-distance relationship. If not, if you are telling me, Salam, single, boo, Eight of Wands is meeting online, so you got to put yourself out there. I'm telling you, okay? I'm telling you. Hear me out. If you are in the dasha of partnership, meaning fifth or seventh, okay, you go out there. You've been in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Hear me out. When I was going through my dasha, okay, one date it took me, bam, that's it. I never came home. Not that I am an, you know, an HOE, okay. No, the relationship was offered right away, right on the spot. It was crazy. It was so fast. It's intense because the timing is right. So I feel like that is for you because Jupiter is in the seventh, Rahu is in the fifth. The timing is right. So we need to manifest this. Eight of Wands. It's coming fast. It's oh, like go out there, talk to people. Eight of Wands. There's someone already willing to, you know, wanting to talk to you, wanting to see you. Eight of Wands is a spiritual connection. If you're not familiar with Tarot, out of all the ones, there's only one wand that doesn't have a human person. In the, basically, in the in the artwork, it's Eight of Wands. See, you know that. That's uh, showing a uh, spiritual connection. Okay. You guys are on the edge of your seats. Is he stopping now? No. I love you guys so much. And I'm very appreciative of all the support of the Scorpio. This is the least that I can do. Okay. Well, I'm grateful for God because I can only be grateful to God. That's how I work. You know, because everything is God-given. God everything is God-given. I appreciate you guys. You understand me? There's a difference between gratefulness to God and appreciating the human beings. Because a lot of people it's like, oh, you should be grateful for me. That's not true. We can only be grateful for the greatness of God. Do you understand me? Okay. So appreciate the human being. Because humans are just humans. You don't need to be grateful for me. You can appreciate me, but you don't need to be grateful. Only to God is the greatness. Okay? I'm not being preachy. Because a lot of people feel the entitlement that you have to be grateful no, you can be appreciated, but no, you ain't no God. Mm. So I appreciate every Scorpio out there from the day one. Okay, we're going to keep going. They're going to talk Ace of Swords, Page of Wands. However, there may be an argument. This is what I'm talking about. That Mars in the seventh, Five of Swords, there are things that you should not say, Scorpio. Oh, here we go. Of course, they're going to say it. No, zip it to do that. Okay, if I can ask you, okay, for the next 40, 50 days while Mars is in the seventh, don't say anything, have a script, do an AI who's going to reply for you, do it. There's something that you will say that you guys will have an argument. Easy. It's like a wildfire. It's like you say it, well, I thought you're going to ask me this and that. Bam. You know, it's, it will look like passive aggressive. You know, they will misunderstand you. Okay. We like to party. We like, we like to party. You got a two of cups. Dang. I told you. But there's an argument. Be careful. Ace of swords through love. Victory. Your person wants to talk to you. They want a, they want a connection first. Hear, sorry, hear me out. Connection. Connection, Scorpio. Okay? Don't jump the gun. So are we together or not? Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, can we skip 30, 40, 50 days without discussing that and just allowing time for it? I'll try, sir. Can't promise. <laughs> no, no, no. You got to promise me. Go to the comments. You better promise me. Whoever this person is, their intention is good. Last day, up to 50% off. If there's anything that you can do to support me, okay, treat yourself today, okay? You have Venus now in the ninth house in Cancer, a benefic planet. You have Mercury now in the ninth house, another benefic planet. If you do something that, uh, you know, that connects to spirituality or religion, the opportunity is going to be out. It's going to be there, there for you. And Sammy, there's no three of swords here and there's no the card that we will never want to see. There's no tower. There's no seven of swords. There's no ten of swords. And that's why I know 
that this is the time where the Scorpios, okay, are about to get hitched. Hitch is that's I can say that right. Okay, hopefully nobody gets uh, um, insulted or offended. You know? So two of cups, wheel of fortune, empress with a hierophant. Are you ready? Because you won't be single for long. If there is something that you need from me that I can help you manifest, Scorpio, don't hesitate. Either the double Piao, 18 karat wheel gold, the red thread reconciliation, I make this myself. And something specific that you're having issue, check the Mystic Custom Bracelet. Okay? So, and this is free. Okay? So, thank you very much for tuning in, Scorpios. And this might be a thing every weekend, every Sunday, right? I, I hope they upload this on Sunday because I have to say Sunday, right? Okay. So, I hope they upload this on Sunday because uh, I believe the last day of the weekend is the you know, the last day for the, for the sale. And um, what else? Yeah. So go invite this energy into your life. Do the sage, the smudge, the cleansing that I already have given out to everyone. Um, this is the time, Scorpio. It's the last, part, last, you know, six months of the year. Either you're going to get it or not. No, you're going to get it. I see it in the cards. The cards has favored you. Okay. Now, we just have to calm myself. Remember, don't open that mouth of yours. <laughs> <laughs> just be filter 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 okay filter filter okay because you're gonna be very spicy you're gonna be very very spicy um i, I don't want to stop right now because <laughs> i still have my planets inside the head um you have venus of course in the ninth after venus goes to your um to the tenth good time for your career also venus and sun they're okay ish but not really um, anything that any graha that goes to Leo gets burned, you know, because it's a luminary. Um, but during that time, I'm seeing that there's going to be a lot of offer uh, with regards to business partnership that's coming towards you. I'm just moving fast forward, okay, guys? Uh, what else I can tell to the Scorpio? Because I, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta start making your jumpstone bracelet. But please comment down below, guys, if you like this kind of, uh, you know, like maybe this is going to be our our new thing where I can spend time with you guys, because. You guys love it when I share all the occult knowledge, you know, I'll put it down there. And to everyone who's attended the workshop and you want to attend the next one, make sure you hit the bell or, you know, go to our email, sign up to our email so you will get the first reservation spot, okay? Check out all the, um, I really cannot stop, the up to 50% off down there. I'm so excited for the Scorpios. I'll see you guys again. Bye.